Also, thank you to the Valley of the Sun. Jerry watching us in Arizona. Do appreciate your support. Keep the tweets coming. He's watching at work. And Joey Cuevas, we do appreciate everything out there. And all you boxers looking for a shout-out, don't worry. It's coming. <laughs> Lamont Roach. We'll see you soon. <laughs> Bethel right. Duran, Doug Fisher, and Steve Kim. Coming up next, Slava Shabransky is going to be putting on a show. This is a fighter coming off an impressive victory. And he sat down in our Ring TV Live studios. Preparing for the UNESCO Gonzalez fight, I watched his videos and I knew that I was facing a very serious opponent. After a few rounds, they realized that they underestimated me and I went the distance. With the Paul Parker fight, I don't want to say that I underestimated him, but I couldn't find any videos of him, and so I didn't know his style. I didn't know if he was taller than me, if he was shorter than me. Going into the ring with Paul Parker, I learned one valuable lesson. You cannot relax and you can never blink. In some ways, he punished me for keeping my hands below my head. After that knockdown, rather than criticizing me, my trainer said, now that we know what he's capable of, let's go finish this fight. To prepare for the Gonzalez fight, my trainer actually asked Paul Parker to be my sparring partner to see if I learned anything. So instead of a typical sparring session, it ended up being a brutal war. He came to kick my ass. But afterwards, we just shook hands and took pictures together, and now we're okay. I've watched a few of Derek Finley's fights and I studied him a little bit. He's a very aggressive fighter and he's not as tall as I am, so that makes him a little more dangerous to me. I'll try to keep him at a distance and listen to my trainer in my corner. I've trained for this fight the same as I have for all my other fights. I don't consider there to be a higher or lower class of opponent. And there you see him ready to make the ring walk with his trainer Manny Robles, Edgar Jassel behind him, Vyacheslav, Lionheart, Chigonski, Shabransky, commonly known as Slava. He's 15 and 0, 12 KOs, a fighter living and training in Los Angeles, specifically at the Rock Gym in Carson, California, but a native of the Ukraine, where guys, it is about 5 a.m. In the Ukraine, they stayed up all night to watch this fight on Ring TV Live. And the reason is Slava's mom, Tatiana, it's her birthday. She's never seen her son fight professionally in the United States. So Dinom Rosenia, happy birthday, Tatiana Shabransky. Esta noche, presentado ustedes por Oscar de la Hoya's Golden Boy Promotions. Este evento está con... Pactado a ocho asaltos en la categoría de peso crucero. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your co-main event of the evening. Eight rounds of boxing in the cruiserweight division. Your three judges scoring this bout. Sus tres jueces, Zachary Young, Eddie Hernandez, y Sharon Sands. And when the action begins, your third man, el tercero en la superficie, Raul Kais Jr. Introducing to you first, the fighter standing in the blue corner, wearing red and white, official weight, 178 pounds. Presentando ustedes en la esquina Tecate Azul, vistiendo calzoncillo rojo con blanco, con un peso de 178 libras. Professionally, he stands at 23 victories, including 18 losses, one draw, and 15 of those wins coming by the way of knockout. Cuenta con un record de 23 victorias, 18 derrotas, un empate, y 15 de esas victorias por la vía del knockout de Chicago, Illinois. Derek Superman Finley. And his opponent across the ring fighting in the red corner, wearing gold trunks with multi-color. Official weight, 179 pounds. Presentando ustedes su rival en la esquina Tecate Roja, vistiendo calzoncillo dorado multicolor, con un peso de 179 libras. Professionally, he is unblemished with 15 victories, no losses, and 12 of those victories coming by the way of knockout. Presenta un record profesional perfecto de 15 victorias, 0 derrotas y 12 de esas victorias por la vía del knockout de Los Ángeles, California, por la vía de Jitumir, Ucrania. Vyacheslav Lionheart Chingonsky, Shabransky. Y para dar las instrucciones finales, el tercero en la superficie, Raúl Kais Jr. 
Fighter Chief second only. Mouthpiece. Mouthpiece. All right, gentlemen, you receive the instructions in the dressing room. Know what I expect? A good, clean fight. Legal punches, these are a bit high. Here up for you, here up for you. Touch gloves, good luck to both of you. Raul Caiz Jr. from West Covina. We'll be in the ring with them with Gonski, Chabransky, and Superman Finley get going. It's scheduled for eight rounds in the cruiserweight division. Slava came in, Wayne at 179, Finley at 178. Normally, Shabransky fights at 175. That was his last one with Unieski Gonzalez. Ready. But for this one, they agreed Ready. at 179. Nice. And Finley definitely coming up. His last fight was at 167. <laughs> and I, I, I forget which one of you guys wrote the story about Finley this week, about how he's just the ultimate journeyman, but he's tough. You know, I actually talked to him uh, during one of the Golovkin camps. He's actually a fixture at the summit. He is a very hard, tough guy. You just look at his resume, it's dotted with a lot of champions. But, Doug, one thing that's apparent is the size difference. I mean, Finley's built very well, but... He's he five foot six. Yeah, he yeah, looks, I mean, he, it's amazing he can yeah. carry, you know, 175-plus pounds and still be ripped, you know what I mean? Yeah. Still look look muscular. He um, looks, it's, it it's just speaks to his uh, genetics. He's I, I say he's built like a fire hydrant. He is, with And he's legs. hard like that. Finley in the red trunks from Chicago, Illinois. The fighter early on in his career, which started in 2005 with just taking fights as soon as he could, any chance possible to make some money. Slava Shabransky didn't start boxing until the age of 16. He was more of a kickboxer growing up in the Ukraine. It was more of a popular sport. And he, that's what he was doing. And then he went to boxing and somebody said, you're really good with your hands, keep your feet away. And the government there in the Ukraine started funding more boxing programs, and he was able to make some government assistance, which helped out the family as an amateur in the Ukraine. Jabransky is the 15th undefeated fighter that Findlay has faced in his 15. pro career. 15th. Yeah. And, Doug, one of them is Gilberto Ramirez, who impressively shut down Arthur Abraham last Saturday night on the Pacquiao-Bradley undercard to capture the WBO super middleweight title. Yeah, and he's faced other um, fighters who went on to win championships at 168 pounds, including uh, uh, Andre Ward yeah. and Andre Durrell. You mentioned Andre Ward, Andre Durrell, Curtis Stevens, Jaylion Love, Edwin Rodriguez, Antoine Eccles. Finley has gone up against a who's who. And the Golovkin sparring, Steve, can only, how much yeah. more of that? In fact, Golovkin used two sparring partners uh, really at length for his last fight against uh, David Lemieux. Was Finley and one of the all-time great journeymen, the guy that you guys called a couple of weeks ago, Darnell, Darnell Boone. Diesel Boone. <laughs> yeah, the godfather of gatekeepers, <laughs> and maybe Finley is the, the grand uncle of gatekeepers because <laughs> these guys have been in with everybody. And um, they, they, they're guys that can, you can put in there with punchers. And they deal with it. Um, I, you know, I think Finley gave Curtis Stevens a, a, a hellish eight rounds in 2013. Right, and that was actually on NBC in front of a national audience. I think the difference here, though, in terms of this particular matchup, though, is Finley is really a natural 160 pounder. I don't think right. he's ever really faced a legitimate light heavyweight like Shabransky. And Shabransky, with only 15 fights, is a legit top 10 contender because of that victory over Uneski Gonzalez. Uppercut for Shabransky, final seconds of the opening round, scheduled for eight. Roberto Diaz, Golden Boy matchmaker, who signed Slava, has the breakdown of what he expects in this fight from Shabransky and Finley. Shabransky is a very special fighter. He's a fighter that you see when he's most comfortable is when he's inside that ring. That's his comfort zone. When he got dropped back in June in Philadelphia twice in the first round, rocked, hurt. Yeah, I was a little like, holy crap, what's going on, you know? After the second round, I totally moved that out because the way he came back in the second round, Wins the second round. Came back, I think he knocked uh, Parker out in the third round. I learned more about Shabransky then than in the past fights. I knew he could punch, but I didn't know if he had the heart to go down and get up. And obviously, that answered that, but it's one fight at a time. It's staying busy, 
learning a little bit of what you're doing in the gym, practicing a little bit. It's fighting eight rounds. It's not a step back, it's stay busy. Is talking about it was in June in Philadelphia. Doug, you and I were there when Slava went down twice in the first round against Paul Parker, who was undefeated at that time. Slava got off the canvas and came back and stopped Parker. And then a few months ago, as Slava was getting ready for the Unieski Gonzalez fight, who's in that gym sparring? Paul Parker. Paul Parker. And the first day of sparring, it was not sparring, it was <laughs> six rounds of Parker trying to continue that fight from Philadelphia. Yeah, he wasn't happy about that stoppage. Although I think it was, a, ooh, I think uh, Finley ran into something. And he's got a shock absorber for a neck. Yep, and Parker actually stayed the entire week there. Went on Facebook and said he, he more respect for Slava. He's in the gold trunks, 15 and 0 with 12 KOs. Slava's learned a lot. I mean, when I first saw him, the first couple of times I saw him, he was more of a, sort of a wild puncher. And um, he's, he's really added layers to his boxing game. And I think maybe his best punch is his jab. I think that's the difference right now in this fight. You know, for most of the night against Unesky Gonzalez, who put up a very spirited effort against Jean Pascal this past summer, uh, I, I thought he actually could just control him with a very educated left hand and just slowly broke him down over the last seven, eight rounds, especially the late rounds, where he kind of took over that fight physically. Yeah, Shabransky doesn't look smooth no. and polished with his boxing, but he, he, he does have the fundamentals down. He can stick and he can move. And he, you know, he doesn't just stay right in front of his opponent. Well, and he understands distance. You know, that's He's, the key. I, I think at this distance, this fight's almost an impossibility for Finley. As long as is able to keep that reach and control things with that front side of his, it's going to be a very tough proposition for Finley. Shabransky, born in the Ukraine, came to the United States. And that last fight, Doug, they were watching it in the Ukraine. And when he went down, the stream in the Ukraine went out. So his mom and his family are like, oh my goodness, my son has been knocked out. The stream finally does pop up, and what do they see? Their son getting his hand raised by the referee. Wow. They had no idea what happened, how it came back. And he's really excited to fight for this time at the LA Fight Club because there's a, a big Ukrainian community in Los Angeles, and they get to see him. This is the first time he's fought in Los Angeles as a professional. He's fought in California. But his first time, he's fought in Los Angeles. A lot of Russians and Ukrainians are out here watching him tonight. Another reason that we're sold out at the LA Fight Club. <laughs> Ten, seconds. Ten seconds to go in the second round. Scheduled for eight, Shabransky in Philly. LA Fight Club sold out. The Belasco Theater in downtown Los Angeles. working a stiff jab from the outside. That's his best punch, and he's using it to control the distance of this fight. Theater in the third round is brought to you by The Ring Magazine. The Ring Magazine, the Bible of Boxing since 1922. Subscribe today. Thanks to everybody watching us on Ring TV Live, especially Tony hey. Contreras, who's driving down to Vista in San Diego County. As he's listening in his car, La Mamba, he can't watch it, so he's plugged it hey. into the auxiliary to make sure to listen to us because his boy, Mario Lopez, just yeah. joined us. The 619 coming What's in What's up, 619 represented today? Guy? You know what's a trip? Is he's from Chula Vista, right? And his parents are from Culiacan, wow. Sinaloa, just like uh, just like me. Yeah, Gamez was good. I, I think he's a very bright young prospect. Mario, we gotta stop meeting like this. I know you were looking sharp, my friend. Real quick before we move uh, <laughs> move on, though. Oh, not no, only that, he came. You want. He traveled well too. He came with a couple nice hundred people. Yeah, a couple hundred people. They were enthusiastic. They were loud. So I think uh, good looking kid. I think he's got a he's got a bright future. Now let's talk about your outfit. You are looking slick, Steve Cam. You know, and I, I gotta, mean, damn it, next level slick. And you know what? I gotta bring this back by noon. Just you got to pick it up just so you know. You got to wear that to our next podcast, the three knockdown rule. Yeah, the three knockdown rule with Mario Lopez and Steve Kim and the Roots of Fight sponsoring that, or at least it looks like it. Oh, yeah, we got a lot of shirts. love right there. 
We're watching Slava Shabransky in the gold taking on Derek Finley. And, and Mario, you've come here. You've actually worked with us a couple of times here on uh, Ring TV Live and LA Fight Club. Yeah, it's it's just such a cool vibe, isn't it? Such a cool time. I always have a good time. Thank you for letting me sit in uh, around with you guys. But it is a cool vibe. It has a very throwback, old school feel to it. It's a beautiful theater. There's not a bad seat in the house. The fights are always great, and it's a fun card tonight. Looking forward to the main event. Yeah, you know what I call this? The West Coast version of the Blue Horizon. Because the Blue Horizon was small, it was intimate, and you were literally right on top of the action. Yes. Undefeated Slava Shabransky. They Oscar Deloya given the nickname Chingonsky. Chingonsky, <laughs> which is the best <laughs> Russian Ukrainian nickname you could ever have. <laughs> Chingonsky. We were just talking about that. His wife Dina. She, two she's young Chingonsky babies. Chingonsky too. There she is. <laughs> They actually met at Slava's, had a fight in, uh, when he was fighting for the World Series of Boxing, he had a fight in Hollywood. His wife went, just as a guest, with some friends, saw him, they met a week later, not realizing that the guy she saw fighting was the guy that she met at this party. And Slava, who was homesick, was ready to go back to the Ukraine because he didn't like Los Angeles, met his future wife, and hasn't gone back home since. And now he's 15-0 fighting for Golden Boy. But she's good luck. A woman will do that to you. And he's looking good tonight. I'm really uh, uh, a little disappointed that his opponent is not letting his hands go. All those muscles, and, and we're not seeing any use of it. I mean, if you're going to get hit, might as well throw punches. Mario, the problem is if he's on the outside, that stature. I mean, really, Finley is a middleweight fighting basically a light heavyweight, even though technically this is a cruiserweight fight. See, the thing is, from out there, Finley is a very short-armed guy. Yes. He's going to have to work his way inside, maybe double up on the jab, get low, and try to slip and just get inside. Yeah, uh, the problem is he hasn't sort of initiated any Slava action. Slava working the body shot. Go Finley's going to... Looks like he's going down, but he's still not... He has... Now he takes the knee. Finley was squatting, but he was... He thought he was down, but he wasn't. He was squatting. Slava did what you're supposed to do. Keep on punching. At this point, he's got to let it loose. Final seconds of the third round. Slava Shabransky in the gold. Finley took a knee in the red. And that'll do it for three. Bethel Duran, Mario Lopez, Steve Kim. We're at the LA Fight Club at the Belasco Theater in downtown Los Angeles. And one of the best sponsors, a tequila company. That's right, oh. Casa Mexico Tequila, oh God, proud this, sponsor this, here. This shirt here. So we're uh, right here, proud right to be here, working right. with Golden Boy. We're looking forward to be working with uh, uh, for the Canelo Con fight. We'll be out in Vegas. Oh, that's right. You were actually the MC of that. That's right. At I was the, the University MC of City that. Walk. Was the MC was of that fight? It was awesome. That's such. A, can I tell you something? That card itself is going to be. Absolutely unbelievable. I mean, kudos to Oscar and everyone at Golden Boy that put that together because it's not a bad fight on that card. As I'm looking on the on the TV right here, my man Glenn Tapia, who's going to be on the on, <laughs> I mean, literally fighting. If you want to have right somebody on the card, Glenn Tapia, man, <laughs> he's, he's hovering. But I'm looking forward to his fight with Lemieux. Uh, to uh, Shara uh, Stevens, I think. Yes, that's the best I think fight that's going to be. I think that's got an. That's an action pack fight. Frankie and Gomez it, and Herrera. It's oh, no, be the an fight awesome has been fight. stopped. Oh. Uh, Derek Finley, who went down in that. Third round, a body shot. What Corner decides night? to stop it. His night. And Slava Shabransky gets a stoppage, and he improves a 16-0. And, and we'll be talking with him. But we're back to you, Mario, though. That car that you mentioned. Oh, oh Glenn Tapia jumps in. Uh-oh. Hey, here you go, there Glenn. There he is. Glenn, Glenn, Glenn. There he is. Hey, I've sparred with Glenn, too. Oh. We had some fun. Glenn, yes, yes. Glenn, Glenn, you got to uh, let me get back in there. You can beat up on me a little bit more so I, I can learn. I got a big fight coming up. I'm oh, not, not right now. Not I'm right not trying to get beat up. In the <laughs> <laughs> That's right, man. Yeah. But but uh, welcome to Golden Boy. Yes, Glad yes. to have you over there. Really looking forward to your fight yeah. uh, with Lemieux. How's the training going so far? Amazing, amazing. I feel so good. I've been training since like July, really, to tell you the truth. And I've just been staying in the gym. It's been kind of hard in the beginning because just trying to stay um, motivated with no date. Glenn, right. So, do you look at this fight almost as a do or die situation for your career? I feel like every fight's like that, but this one definitely is. You know, because I just lost my last fight, so I got to come back. And everybody, everybody's doubting me in this fight. You know, everybody thinks that I'm gonna lose, and that's the best thing that's happening right now. I gotta say, I'm I'm looking forward to to seeing you fight um, at this weight. Because I gotta imagine, you're, I mean, you're a big kid. I couldn't yeah. believe you you made 154 to yeah. begin with, but 160, you're gonna be that much stronger. You're gonna feel that much more yeah. uh, invigorated. Uh, how much a pr how much of a release of, of, of a stress and pressure is that? Not having to worry about that. Amazing, amazing. People think that it's kind of opposite. They think I'm gonna be weak because I've been I'm going up from 54, but they don't understand that I was walking around 68, 69. This is perfect weight class. I feel strong. I feel this is my weight class, and, and I feel like. 
I'm going to show that on, 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 on 7. On Good for 7. you, man. Looking Good. forward to uh, to checking it out, brother. Thank you. Thank you. And we'll see thank you at the gym. Thank you. Yes, see sir. you at yes, the sir. gym right there. Don't beat me Don't up, man. Okay, all right. <laughs> <laughs> right on, then, Glenn. Thank you. Oh. Steve Kim, man. Well, Mario, we got to stop meeting like this. I know. Yeah. I know. Really He's got to get his suit back yeah. before we're over here. I'm going to go finish having some more tequila for the both of you since uh, both of yeah, you yeah. guys can't. can't. But yes, afterwards, yeah. come May 7th, we'll do that. Yes, sir. All right, gentlemen. All right. Let's get the pick right here. Here, Beto. <laughs> and there it is. We go back to <laughs> Beto right. Duran. And that man, Slava Shabransky, improves to 16 and 0 with a solid workmanlike performance, stopping Derek Finley in three. Quite frankly, he was outgunned. And really, I, I think it was a good stoppage. Yeah. So that was only going to go one way. It was going one way, and Slava hit him with that body shot. He was trying to take a knee, and Slava kept on going. There you see the smile from him. That division right there, 135 where he wants to be. There you see his trainer, Manny Robles, and uh, Edgar Jasso Estrellita doing work in there. That kid works hard. He sparred with a Russian cruiserweight, a Dmitry Kudryashev. And hopefully I said that right. That's who he sparred with for this one. Kudryashev. Kudryashev. There you and go. Guys, let me just say this. Sergey Kovalev and Andre Ward may each take a tune-up, stay-busy fight in the summer before they square off in November. My understanding is from Robert Diaz and both Eric Gomez that Slava Shabransky has been contacted by both camps. He's in the running. So he's definitely in the running. If you look at the ratings, number seven in the WBC, belt held by Adonis Stevenson, and number 12 in the IBF, which is held by Sergey Kovalev. So, yeah. And he's also ranked yeah. by Ring Magazine. He's, you know, yeah. lower, lower top 10. Yeah. I, I think he has a type of style. I think he's technically good enough that on any given night, he gives any 175 pounder a very solid tough test. I think technique is the operative word and I think it's the key word for this performance because he's been billed as a slugger, yeah. as a puncher. And I really think the difference in this fight was his jab, his jab, his use of feints, his control of distance, his footwork and his angles. And once he hurt yeah. uh, Findlay to the body, then we saw the monster. Well, then he went and crazy. We'll, and when we come back, we'll be have the particular Slava Shabransky. And don't forget, I don't, why am I telling you to forget? Soto Karas, come guy. You know it, Ring TV Live. Come back more in downtown LA. And Ring TV Live is brought to you by El Curacao. Text the word PROMO to 61200 for an awesome free gift. Curacao, all the brands you love. Low easy payments, El Curacao. Back at the Belasco Theater, Beto, our ring announcer is ready to go. Damas y caballeros, al finalizar el round número dos, la esquina azul ya no puede continuar. The blue corner cannot continue at the end of round number two. We have your winner, by the way, of technical knockout. Su ganador por la vía, el knockout técnico. And still undefeated, Los Angeles, California. Vachislav Lionheart Chingonsky Shabransky. There you see Slava Shabramsky. You know who watched him? Fabian562 with the tweet of the night. My girl left me, but I still got LA Fight Club. We're here for you, <laughs> you Fabian. Know what? You know what? He came out ahead. You're good, Fabian. You're good. <laughs> you leave. She left you, but you got Steve Dunn, yeah. Glenn Tapia, Mario Lopez, and you also have Soto Caras, Kamegai, coming your way. What a good evening at the LA Fight Club at the Belasco Theater. It's sold out for a reason. They had to sell some standing room only. There's a closed circuit going on. All kinds of good things. Five fights we've had so far. Five knockouts. Let me recap it for you first. Jose Gonzalez, a first round stoppage. Jonathan Navarro, second round stoppage. Nico Valdez, a first round stoppage. Gennaro Gomez, who a lot of people are excited about, especially Jimmy. First round KO and Slava with a third round. We'll be back with more from the Velasco Theater in downtown Los Angeles on Golden Boy Promotions, LA Fight Club. At the Velasco Theater, Golden Boy Boxing on Ring TV Live is brought to you by the new Fight App. It is really, really cool. Been messing with it all day long. Download the new Fight App today to watch Golden Boy Boxing fights live, as well as other great fights in the future of this app. 
Ooh. Get it now. It's going to be really, really cool. Back at the Belasco Theater, Bethel Duran. Normally, this is when I say Steve Kim and Doug Fisher, but right now I say Vyacheslav, Lionheart, Chinsgonski, Shabransky, and his trainer, Manny Robles. Slava, congratulations. How did you feel in this fight? Thank you very much. I feel comfortable. I listened to my coach and I tried to do everything what he told me. Did you feel good in the weight? Because last time you fought in New York, you were 135. This time you went up a little bit more. How'd you feel? It's, I feel good. <laughs> <laughs> you worked hard in the gym. Yeah. And you worked hard at running Mount Baldy. So you work hard in there and you saw the results. What did you like about the way you fought today? Like, what, what did you like? The way you, what punches? You know, I. I, I looked for his right hand and I try to yeah, do counter attack like uh, I work on the distance and uh, I do a lot of jab and yep. all jab is uh, is working with so yes and uh, Manny Robles is trainer happy yes. birthday by the way a couple of days Thank ago you, you turned Thank 21 you Steve Kim was mentioning how Slava's jab looked really good tonight how much of an emphasis has that been for you guys well it's a key it's key it's it was a key to success tonight I think uh the jab overall is is uh, what got us the win tonight, you know, uh, maintaining that distance, working behind the jab, and following up everything coming off the jab. The opponent for him was shorter. It was a tougher fight. But this is a fighter that Derek Finley is hardly ever stopped. How impressed are you with the way Slava did tonight? Exactly, exactly. We, I understood he was a very durable fighter. Uh, it was just a matter of sticking to the game plan, maintaining his distance staying calm and collective and, and you know winning one round at a time and let the let you, you always let the knockouts come on their own. There's one body shot if there's a body shot yeah. that did it and, and that was it. I know all about Slava's body shots. Now, now you have known Slava since before he knew English, before he knew Spanish. Absolutely. You've seen him grow up. What do you like the most about him? Well I, I like his demeanor man. He's a very hard working kid. Like one of the one of the hardest working kids I've ever been around to and I've ever been to the, the, have the pleasure of working with. He's extremely dedicated, humble, keeps his feet on the ground, doesn't let it, you know, the, the, the fame get to his head. And it's taking one fight at a time. He knows, he knows where we're going. He knows where we're at, but he also understands that, that we have a long way to go. It's an exciting division for Slava. I know you guys are not scared of anybody. You want to fight anybody, right, Slava? We are ready. <laughs> <laughs> now, Oscar De La Hoya calls you Chingonski. It's a nickname he gave you. What do you think about it? Oscar me llama Chingonski. Eh, me gusta el nombre porque peleo duro. Porque peleo duro, because peleo he fights duro. hard. Now, your <laughs> mom right. is watching in the Ukraine. Happy birthday. There's a the camera. Say hi to everybody in the Ukraine. Slava. Hey, Ukraine. My mom, I want to wish all the best and say happy birthday. Say it in I Russian. You. In Russian. Mamulka, дорогая, любимая, я тебя обожаю, люблю. Крепкого здоровья тебе с днем рождения. Брат, друг. Rabotai. Congratulations from Slava <laughs> Shabransky. There he is. We'll be back for more from the Belasco Theater in downtown Los Angeles on night with Slava Shabransky improves the 16-0 on Ring TV Live. Los Angeles.